Hello ladies and gentlemen, today with Tank and Trucker we are going to do a review of the T28 concept. In order to get this tank, um, it is the second uh, prize tank that you can get for completing the uh, 15 missions for the lights, mediums, heavies, artillery, and tank destroyers. Um, personally, I love this tank, oh, excuse me, tank destroyer. Um, it is a tier 7. You get 880 hit points. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but the nice thing is this armor on, on this is just troll armor. It is super great armor. I uh, don't know how many times um, I, you, um, you, you do not get uh, preferential matchmaking before I say the next sentence. Next sentence I was going to say is... I don't know how many times I've had matches where I was getting hit by RHMs, um, tier 8 tank destroyer, really good gun, and bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Um, a lot of people think this front plate it, it is really flat. Um, they think it's going to be easy to pen. Uh, they learn after putting two or three standard rounds uh add it and just bounce them off no problem that um, they've got to switch to gold if it's not a high enough gold round penetration it still won't pen it the gun on this um, is a 105 it's the uh, t5 same gun basically that goes on the t32 uh, t29 and uh, the um, mutant uh, basically same gun rate of fire is um, not too bad it's uh, six rounds a minute reload is 8.25 if you're a uh, top tank you can pretty much get away with uh, shooting standard rounds um, if it's uh, a tier 8 match you can still you can still get away with shooting um, pr pretty much uh, a lot of the standard rounds if it's a tier 9 match, um, I will definitely low gold. It gets my favorite round, APCR for the gold round, um, which I say it in every video and I'll say it again. I love that round. It's way better than the heat, heat rounds that you get on a lot of the tanks. I had a match a little bit ago in my T10, and uh, it was a tier 10 match, and uh, the enemy team had a lot better players than we had. I wanted to make sure that uh, my rounds were going to penetrate. They had a lot of E5s, um, IS4s, and um, it's it's a heat round that you get for the T10. And I bounced seven out of the ten heat rounds that I shot. I actually switched back over to the standard round because I just wasn't penning with the heat rounds. Um, I switched over to the standard rounds. And um, I still wasn't penning. So uh, RNG God just had it out for me today and did not want me to do much of any damage that match. I think I penned three, three rounds and I had 14 shots and I missed one and the rest bounce. So yeah, it happens. Um, I've got a crew in this that I share with um, another one of my tanks. Um, being that it's a premium, you can do that. And... Uh, We'll go ahead and go over the stats on the tank real quick. It's a 70.7 ton. Go all the way up to 73 ton. 960 horsepower motor on a straightaway. Uh, it doesn't do too bad. It's, it gets up to the uh, 29 kilometers an hour pretty quick, and it'll stay at that. But if you got a turn, if you have a tank, you know that's going to be coming to your right side, and you got to get turned that way. Well. You might want to start about a day and a half early. The traverse is 18 degrees. Um, it is horrendously slow. I actually think it turns slower than the T95. It, it is really slow when you try and traverse. On a straightaway, it's great if you got to make a little correction uh, in your in your driving, so don't run into a building or something. Not too bad, but if you have to completely turn around, you better start doing it. If you think you're going to get flanked and somebody's going to shoot you in the back, you better start turning fast because um, it is really slow on the traverse. Hull armor is 203. 
on the front, 101 on the sides, and 50 in the rear. That's a cool looking uh, tank destroyer. I love the the girth on this gun. It just it just looks awesome. The uh, gun traverse is phenomenal. You can get at such a great angle um, on, like, say, a building. You can basically almost side scrape with this. It is just awesome. Um, basically, you can get at an angle like this, and that gun points out like this. I mean, it turns just crazy. Um, the weak spots on this, well, you can see them. Both sides, you got them. Those little turrets right there. If they can hit those little turrets, uh, it's it's especially if you get hit with uh, like an RHM and they hit those turrets, you're going to be done pretty quick. 880, if they've got the uh, the big derp gun on the RHM, um, if they get a really a high enough roll, I mean, it basically can be one shot. Um, yeah, you need to try and hide those little gun turrets as as much as possible. Not very easy. If you're side scraping off a building, you can. You know, you just don't show from here back, and obviously that side's hidden or vice versa. Um, and with the uh, angling on this gun, it's just phenomenal. Uh, these little uh, hatches up top, they, they can be penned. Um, if they hit your slope right here, it's just going to bounce off. Uh, if they hit your side, it'll bounce off. I've had rounds hit me right in here and bounce here, bounce. Um, I've had them hit in this area and bounce. If they get caught in this little trap, they'll pen usually. Um, but if they hit those little turrets there and there or any of those hatches up top, um, it's pretty sure going to pen. Um, but your front is just phenomenal, you know. So hopefully it's still, you know, a, a pretty new tank destroyer uh, in the game. Not a whole lot of people have them. Uh, more people are getting them, and if somebody has it, they know where to shoot you. Um, if, you know, it comes up against somebody that doesn't have it, more than likely they're going to see that nice flat plate and think, ha-ha, and then they'll just shoot you round after round and bounce. Um, standard shell penetration, like I said, it's got the same gun on the 32 and the T29. So you get 181 standard penetration, 224 with your gold APCR, so it doesn't really bump it a whole lot uh, higher uh, from standard to gold. Um, you get 53 for your uh, HE rounds, 320 average damage for your standard and your uh, APCR for damage, and 420, well, up to 420 with an HE round. Um, 53 pen on a, on a tier 8 or tier 9 isn't going to do, do a, a whole lot, but um, if you get a tier 6 that gets up into a, uh, up into your match or um, a tier 5, because obviously they can go up to tier 7s. I mean, HE, you can pretty much wreck them, but you wouldn't need to. I mean, basically just hit them with your standard rounds and still do, you know, 320. But, I mean, if it's something, you know, lightly armored, um, and it's a tier 5, you know, low load in HE, and you'll wreck them pretty bad. Um, view range is 392. Um, I've got it set up with a gun rammer. Uh, gun lane drive and uh, vents. I did that just due to the fact that I like the faster load time because um, the, the view range is 392 which for a uh, tier 7 um, it's not too bad. Um, I'm thinking of taking the vents off and put it, putting um, the uh, nods on it the uh, telescope nods, whatever you want to call them uh, give you that extra boost and view range that way you can basically uh, you know start hitting somebody before they even know where the rounds are coming from um, uh, again you know if there's a light tank scout even a medium tank even a heavy tank <laughs> they if the heavy tanks fast enough I mean they can circle you so easy in this so if it gets to where your team is starting to lose, you know you're going to have a lot of tanks coming at you. Try and get yourself into a, a spot where um, you've got a building uh, next to you or uh, something that you can, like a hill that you can back up onto so they can't get behind you. Because uh, the, the gun traverse on this is so great, a lot of times uh, you're able to actually um, get it you know, where they can't get around you and you can actually still shoot them because the gun just points at such crazy. I mean, 
it'll aim all the way over here and it aims all the way over here you, you'll see in the match it's really it's really really good um is it worth getting yeah i really think it is um the notoriety again of having this premium is kind of cool people are like oh neat tank you know um a lot of people don't understand how to get it if they're new to world of tanks they don't know about the missions and whatnot um it's a fun tank to play uh, you can get wrecked in it just like you can in any tank destroyer if they can get behind you or circle you uh, well you can get wrecked in any tank um, but it happens let's go ahead and take it out and keep our fingers crossed that um, we get maybe a tier 7 match and we uh, get a tier 8 which um, they don't have too many good players on their team 112 That'll give us a little bit of trouble uh, with standard rounds trying to go through his front. It's got pretty good. If you hit the lower plate, no problem. But the upper plate, yeah. Um, T32 lower plate, STA pretty much anywhere. TVP anywhere. Yag 88 lower plate. Yeah, you might have to load gold for that. The Oni, that thing actually has really good armor, and it's hard to pen even with gold rounds. Um, I've actually bounced round after round off that thing all over. I had to switch over to HE to actually do anything. I just could not penetrate the, the thing. Um, you can see the uh, gun traverse. I mean, look how far that points over. And it, it doesn't move, you know, 100 miles an hour to each side, but it, it moves pretty quick. And I'm going to try and get over here. Hopefully this guy doesn't get himself wrecked trying to push me because this has got pretty good armor. I'm going to go over to uh, the left over here, or excuse me, the right side over here, and try and uh, support my team so that, oh, we had somebody YOLO and get on their cap. He'll be dead in a second. Our car will be. That wasn't too bright. Looks like we don't really have much of anybody going hell. Uh, gun depression on this, you don't have much of any gun depression, but that's because the gun sets, you know, so, so darn close, um, to the, the body of the tank. I'm going to try and at least get over here where I've got protection from Artie on, on this hill area. I am lit, so I need to hurry up and get over here in a 112. I'm just going to go ahead and reload and load gold. Got a pretty decent load time. You can see it loads pretty quick, so I don't mind, you know, reloading it really quick. The hard thing is, lovely, and Artie is aiming right over here. Not what I want to see. <laughs> oh no, and there's an Oni, even worse. Let's see if I can pen him. Oni's trying to get a derp shot on me. I'm just going to back off here. This is not going to end well. If the 112 hits me, it's got 390 uh, average damage. If the Oni hits you, he's derping, so... Oh, I completely shot right over his commander's hatch. The good thing is... Got a pretty fast reload. Nothing. I'm going to load HE. I want to at least do damage. And if I can hit him, my gosh, I keep derping him right over him. I actually hit him and didn't even go through. Uh, I don't know if I hit my IS-3 or what. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push out. I'm going to leave HE loaded. I'm going to get ready with a gold round. Critical hit. I only did 28, 28 damage, but hopefully I knocked this gun out. There's artillery back there. I'm going to hopefully get around here. Like I said... This is the hard part. With uh, but I've got look at that gun, how much I can push it over. Penetration. 
He's gonna get out of there before I get another shot off on him. Okay, artillery's dead. I'm gonna try pushing around over this way. Our team is wrecking these guys pretty bad. I haven't done much of any damage. But as you can see, when I try turning left or right, it's um, it's about the speed of a Pinto. <laughs> it's slower than slow. I'm gonna pre -aim, uh, use auto aim. He's going to get hit before I get another shot on him. Alright, all they have left is an STA-1. Looks like the last time he was spotted was... Yep, and he's still sitting there. Yeehaw! So you can see on a straightaway, it doesn't do bad at all pretty fast um, not a Corvette I mean we're doing 18 kilometers 20 21 picking up speed and we're going up a hill but um, obviously like when you turn look at that it's new but the nice thing is that gun you can see the angle you can get that bad boy on so a lot of times people still have trouble um, getting around on your backside if you can get that turn quick enough not a very impressive game but uh tier seven in a tier eight match um i, I probably could have stayed closer to the base and tried to get anybody going up that way uh, i like to uh support my team on that one side uh, where i went got a shot on artillery knocked his track off but i didn't get loaded in time to finish him off I hit the Oni with an HE rounded all of 28 damage. <laughs> it's a critical hit, but it doesn't show any criticals. So I uh, uh, hit the uh, artillery for 321. And remember, the average damage that this gun does is 320. So I hit him for 321. One point over average damage. Hit the Oni with for 20, 28 with an HE shell. T32 hit him in the back for 302. Um, so I only got a couple shots off that I actually hit. I was, I was kind of dunking those shots and, uh, I was letting it shrink in and I pull the trigger and the round would just kind of fly over the, uh, commander's hatch on that 112. So, uh, RNG God was not with me in that match. Only did it 651 damage. Um, not very impressive, but uh, shooting straight gold, still made 512 credits, so kind of laughable. <laughs> I mean, it's better than losing money, but if I would have done a lot more damage in that match, um, your uh, profits are a lot better, a lot more. You'll make a lot more credits. So, nine shots, only hit six, and penned three of them. So, uh, now if that would have been a tier... Seven match, if I would have been top tank, easily, um, easy, 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 we would have gone right up there and not hesitated to use standard rounds, and I would have been able to wreck them. So, yeah, um, it's definitely worth getting the missions done to get this. It's just an all-around fun uh, tank destroyer to uh, play. Um, I didn't really get hit by anything to showcase how well the armor worked. But obviously, that's the object because you don't want to get hit by stuff. <laughs> so, um, I'll do another match after this one uh, where I do just a, a match in it and play it uh, without doing the stats on it. And hopefully get um, a Tier 7 match or you know a better match where I do more damage. And I'll put that on uh, my channel also. So, if you're interested, you can check that one out and... Hopefully it'll be a lot more exciting than that match I just had. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the video. This is Tank and Trucker, and be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.